Hello everybody, Alex Deathreaper here, playing some more Diablo 2. Uh, last time, what did we do? We went through the in went to the Inner Cloister. Um, we're doing this quest called Sisters to the Slaughter, Find Andario's Lair in the Depths of the Monastery Catacombs. Um, and I'm playing as the Druid. Uh, let me just show you my stats really quick. I'm level 16. There's my info. Um, uh, my inventory, I, uh... Pretty much have everything the same as last video. I am gonna sell this. One of you left a comment saying that this actually this item set is for a necromancer. Uh, thanks for telling me that. I can free up some space. Um, Cause I'm obviously not a necromancer. Um, I'm a druid. So <laughs> if I do come across something that is for a druid, let me know and I'll save that and hopefully find the other items. Um, let's take a look here. What else do I need to show you guys? Nothing. Okay, that's it. Uh, what we're going to do is I'm going to raise up all my spirits before I head out. Here's my Oak Sage to give me more life. My three wolves. And... My Vine that eats dead bodies and gives me life. Alright, so we're going to use this waypoint and we're going to head out to the Inner Cloister. As you can see, we are almost done with Act 1. We're going to head... Uh, Try and find the catacombs level two. So when we hit the catacombs, we know we're getting close. Um, we found this dead rogue. We'll loot her body for some stamina potion. Um, not interested in some stamina potion. All right. Well, um, let's go take a look around here. Flow of enemies coming through the door. All right, we're in the cathedral. We're fighting this guy called Doom, Doom Bang. Doom Bang. And Doom Bang just went. Bada bing, bada. Goodbye! Ahaha! Ah, Ahaha! Whoa, hello, what is that? There's a casket. I guess they bury dead people with potions. And gold! Hooray! Let's take a look around here. Wow, this place is creepy. These giant pillars. Let's put my map. Oh, hello! It's tainted! Tainted love! Tainted love! Get over here! We're whooping up on some demons. I'm a demon hunter, haha. <laughs> Just kidding. But really, I'm kind of like a demon hunter. Let's see, here's a casket. You know, I'm actually avoiding my, uh... Scrolls of Identify. I even sold my tome that used to be right here of Identify Scrolls because old man Kane in camp, he can identify them for me. So there's no point in wasting uh, two slots unless I wanted to um, identify items out here on the field. But with Town Portal Scrolls, there's really no point in that. And that I think, I guess that's an issue and that's something that they changed in... Uh, in Diablo 3, no more scrolls of town portal. So I'm wondering if they're gonna, you know, leave you with scrolls of identify. I don't see why not. Um, all right, we found a dead end. Let's explore further in here. Oh, update on on me and Gale. Um, we got in another fight again because uh, she saw me checking out Charcy, and uh, then she got all, you know, all. Ah, oh, saw you looking at her. Ah. Oh. And I was like, so? I can do what I want. What is that? Bone Ash. We're going to raise a fissure underneath Bone Ash. Let my wolves do the damage. And Bone Ash is dead. Goodbye. Oh, I'm blue. I'm blue. Da -ba -dee -da -ba -da. Hey, everybody's blue. It's a blue party. We found a zombie head. A scimitar. Cool, cool. And look at these pools of blood. What was going on here? This must be a sacrificial altar of some sorts. Check that out up there. Creepy. This is scurry. This is a scurry game. Oh! Wraiths! Wraiths aren't scary. Pretty. They're like fighting. Light bulbs. Glowy light bulbs. Alright. We hit a dead end. Hmm. It's like a church. People come and sit in these and then they die and explode. There's <laughs> blood everywhere. Um, one thing I want to talk about today. Um, is the health systems in Diablo 3. Um, I was checking out the website, and this is an older update. I know it's not new or anything, but for those of you that don't know, I don't, uh, I think they're avoiding potions altogether. See how I have my potions down here on my belt? Um, they may have, you know, different types of potions, but 
As far as health potions go, I believe... Oh, here's the catacombs level 1. I believe they're trying to avoid... Um, oh, by the way, we're going to come back to here later. I believe they are trying to avoid potions altogether um, because enemies now... Whoa! Full of monsters. Enemies now drop health globes, these little orbs. Um, and you need to collect those to gain health. And the reason why they do that is because it encourages players to, instead of retreating from battle um, and, and going, you know, like running away to heal yourself, it encourages you to keep on fighting and keep on pushing forward. And I think that's great. I think that's awesome. Good idea. Um, although, I think it may be more of a challenge for people. I mean, obviously, if you can't... The supernatural is strong here. Uh-oh. He was saying something. I didn't hear that. I was talking too loud. My bad. Gail, what'd he say? Hey, Gail, what'd I just say? What did I just say? Um, yeah, I think it's going to create more of a challenge. Um, because, you know, you're obviously going to have to fight to get more life. And by fighting, you can lose life. So overall, you just have to get better. <laughs> Don't. And, and, and play with with skill, I think. And play... Um, hello, Bone Snarl. And play in a way that you're not just running in there and, you know, not worrying about your health. You actually have to, you know, plan it out. Plan out your battle. You can't just run in there expecting to... Oh, I'll just use a potion after I, you know, get all hurt, or I'll just run back into this other room. Whoa! Fire! Take out this dark shaman, because those of you that don't know, the shaman do heal the little ones back to life. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm very happy about, uh, about the decision with the health orbs. Um, I just think it'd be more fun. Although I wonder, what if you're playing, uh, you know, you're playing co-op, and uh, one person keeps collecting all the health orbs, and the other person just dies. <laughs> That'd be annoying. Hopefully, I, I, hopefully you'd have a player that uh, that doesn't take all the health when you need it the most. Whoa! Tainted love. I ain't scared of you. Man, what are those things? They're just a mixture of. Of like I can't carry uh, buffalo and crap, <laughs> giant piece of buffalo crap with horns. All right, let's more tainted demons. Oh, Fisher, that is an awesome skill. I love Fisher. I think the I think Fisher is gonna be my main attack for now until until it I need something else. Oh, whoops! I accidentally hit that health try when I didn't need it. But that's okay. Alright, check this out. We did find the catacombs level 2. Although we're not done exploring all this place. So we're just going to cruise through catacombs level 1. Make sure I didn't miss anything. Like these candles. I couldn't have gone without missing those candles. Na, na, running through the catacombs. Gail, how did you get in here? You were running off on your own. You were going to die. Whoa, Kale's shooting something. Oh, I'm overburdened. Okay. Guys, I'm going to head back to town. I'm going to sell some stuff, and I'll be back with you in just one second.